All right, hey everybody, this is Rush, and you're watching Helix Basics. This is a YouTube tutorial series I'm putting together to help new and experienced users program their Line 6 Helix floor. So a little about myself, once again, my name is Rush, and I build and program guitar rigs out here in the LA area. So my clients include Steve Vai, Def Leppard, Maroon 5, Melissa Etheridge, A Perfect Circle, Bush, Kylie Minogue, and more. And I wanted to give uh, back to the Helix community show and show some tips and tricks on how to program their Line 6 Helix floor. If you've been watching this YouTube channel, you've definitely seen a lot of fractal audio content. And one of the things a lot of people don't know about me is that I program all the modelers out there on the market, including the Quad Cortex, the Kemper, all the fractal products, and in this case, the Line 6 Helix floor. So uh, there's plenty of crossover content. There's plenty of best practices, no matter what modeler you choose, to get the best tone both live in the studio, on stage, and wherever else you may find yourself. So uh, this tutorial is going to be kind of related to the previous tutorial that I made. Uh, basically building a gig-ready preset. So you can see up in the upper left-hand corner right here of this preset, we call this a gig-ready preset. Again, a very simple preset. Obviously, every user is going to be different. But the idea was to have a uh, approximation of having a channel switching amp that has a clean and a dirty channel and some basic effects that you can do. So for example, if you didn't watch that channel, basically we are using the Placator Clean and the Placator Dirty to get like a clean and dirty sound. So here's the clean sound. Here's the dirty sound. And of course the vol is a volume boost to turn up the volume. We got a little bit of a delay, an overdrive and a chorus. And so if you're in a cover band, you know, some, this is a kind of a preset that you could probably take out on a gig if you need to cover a, a wide variety of sounds. So you have the channel switching, some simple effects and everything like that. So um, this is now going to be a good idea to start exploring snapshots if that's going to work with your workflow better uh, live. So for example, a very common thing that uh, all guitar players are aware of and have experienced is the quote unquote tap dancing you have to do sometimes in the middle of a show. So for example, if I'm on the dirty channel right here and I want to switch to the clean channel and also have a chorus, I have to make two button presses. And then if I want to switch back to the dirty channel, I have to turn off the chorus. It's a very common thing that everybody has experienced, especially if you've been using stop box effects for a long time and also a channel switching amp. Obviously, the chorus will stay on no matter what channel you're using. So you have to end up turning the chorus off. Or so, for example, if you're you know, doing a lead sound, you end up having the volume boost on and the overdrive and a delay on. <laughs> And then let's say you need to go back to a clean channel and you got to turn everything off. That can be really tedious live. And of course, you definitely want to just do everything, you know, as seamlessly as possible. And so to avoid tap dancing, the Line 6 Helix also has snapshots. So snapshots can be accessed, uh, you know, if you uh, have your Helix just like straight from the factory or anything like that, they can be accessed between uh, hitting this button right here. So you can go between stomp and preset and then the uh, bank up and down switches allow you to go through your different presets, but now you have access to your snapshots. What snapshots are, are basically a way to, with a single button press, turn on and off multiple effects or switch between different channels, for example. Like, so for example, we're using the clean and the dirty amp. So um, since we're using two different amp blocks, you can just think of that as bypassing or engaging different amp channels. So snapshots are really useful for that. So let's dial in a basic snapshot right now. In the first snapshot that you can see in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, I basically just have a generic clean sound. And so if I wanted to, for example, have my second snapshot turn on certain effects, there's two ways to do it. So first, I would select the snapshot that I want. I would go back into stop mode and then turn on whatever effects I would need. So let's say the second snapshot of mine, I want the Minotaur to be on, so that would be kind of an overdrive sound. And then now I have that on. And again, I'm looking in the upper right to indicate that I am in snapshot number two. So for example, snapshot number one, as you can see, is only the clean channel. Snapshot number two is with the overdrive. Now, snapshots aren't limited to just turning on one effect. So if I go back to snapshot, and again, note that I am in snapshot number two, and let's say I wanted these three effects on, you'll notice that when I go from snapshot one, it's only going to have the clean channel. And when I go to snapshot number two, I end up turning on three other effects. So 
So that's one way to do it in snapshots. And of course, the other way to do it in snapshots is select the snapshot you would like and then use the joystick and bypass or engage whatever effects you want. So for example, let's say in snapshot number two, I still only wanted to have the overdrive on, but none of these other effects. So you can hear in snapshot number two, I only have the overdrive on, which is the Minotaur. And in snapshot number one is the clean channel. So really useful feature. I, I highly recommend it to avoid all the headaches of tap dancing. So what you can do is you can have up to eight snapshots in a preset. And of course, there are other ways to, you know, have like maybe four snapshots and access to your stop boxes. But again, for this tutorial, we're going to be just dealing with eight basic snapshots. For a preset like this, I think eight snapshots is plenty and you'll have access to all your different sounds that you would need on the fly. So for example, let's say, uh, you know, for me, if I was doing a cover band gig where I just need a variety of sounds at my feet, I would do something like a clean, a crunch, a rhythm, and then a lead sound right here, and then maybe access to certain effects that I would want using different combinations of effects. So maybe like clean with some chorus, maybe clean with some chorus and delay, maybe, you know, clean with some overdrive, you know, it could be uh, a lot of different variations. So what we're going to do is let's dial in the first four sounds, which would, in my opinion, be the basic sounds that I would definitely need on a gig. So to rename any of the snapshots, all you want to do is hit this preset button and you'll see it says select snapshot right here. So as I rotate through this, you can see that the Helix is selecting whatever snapshot I would want. And then I can, of course, rename it to whatever I wish. Now, I find that for most users, it's first plotting out what snapshots you want and then dialing them in seems to be a better workflow. So let's rename the first snapshot. I'm going to hit the, I'll hit the rename snapshot button right there and I'm going to delete everything. And let's just call this clean. And I'll just do this really quickly. Um, whoops. And I'll just do CLN for clean. And then what I would do is, of course, go to the second snapshot, rename it. And again, let's delete everything. And I'm going to call this crunch. So we'll call this CRN for crunch. And again, you can, of course, do the full name if you wish. So clean, crunch. Maybe I'll add some CH to that. I know it's only one letter difference, but that's okay. Crunch, and then maybe here, I would want a rhythm sound, so I will delete the name of that snapshot. And then let's go with rhythm. And again, this is very tedious on the front panel. You can, of course, do this in HX Edit, which I will do in a later video. So we'll do rhythm right there. And last but not least, what we'll do, lead. So I will select snapshot number four, rename that, and then we will call this lead. And of course, you can use any type of upper and lowercase combination that you want. I find that if I do everything in caps, it's much easier to see, especially in the middle of a gig. So now the first thing that we're going to do is, of course, go through each snapshot that we dialed in down there, and we want to engage every effect that we want. So Again, you have two ways to do this. You can, of course, go into stop mode, turn on the effects that you would want. And in this case, for this particular preset, I dialed in like a channel button to switch between the clean and the dirty of the amp. If you're curious how to do that, watch the video where I build a gig ready preset. Um, so we can do it like that, or we can do it on the LED panel. And again, I find that, you know, going back and forth through this menu can be a little tricky. I do like dialing it in just using the joystick, but uh, I will do it for both. So for the crunch sound, I would want the clean channel, but with the overdrive on. We already kind of basically did that. But again, you can go here, pick the channel you want, and also turn on the Minotaur. So we already have the clean and the crunch. Now for the rhythm sound, I will do this on the LED. We, of course, don't want this engaged. We want the dirty amp engaged. And as you can see, none of the other effects are engaged. But let's say for, you know, the rhythm sound, you did want the chorus on, you would just select it, hit the bypass button to engage it. And you would turn on the chorus. But for this particular sound, I just want basically a chorus with a little bit of reverb on it. I mean, sorry, the dirty channel with a little bit of uh, uh, reverb on it. Okay, and then now for the lead sound, what we can do, of course, is we can hit lead and then engage all the effects that we would want. In my case, for the lead sound, I want the overdrive on. I do want the delay on, 
and I want the volume on. And of course, I want to be on the dirty channel. You can do this in stop mode or you can do this uh, on the front panel. Either way works. <laughs> So you can hear, now I have access to four basic sounds that you would definitely need on a gig. A clean, a crunch, a rhythm sound, and a lead sound. So up here on these snapshots at the top, we can of course use other combinations. Now, for example, uh, sometimes I find that I might need a clean sound with a chorus on it. And again, I don't want to have to do any type of tap dancing. So for snapshot number five, I would want a clean and a chorus. So as you can see, this snapshot already has like a ton of different effects on. I don't want any of those effects on other than the clean channel and the chorus. So I will bypass the overdrive. I do want the clean sound, but I don't want the dirty. And then I do want the chorus. And I of course want the cabinet block, but I don't want the delay. So I'll bypass that. And I don't want the EQ that I'm using as a volume boost. So now I have a clean sound with some chorus on it, as opposed to just a regular clean sound. And of course, what you can do is hit the preset button again and rename the snapshot. Let's rename this to clean plus CH or CHO. So we'll do clean CLN, and then we will do CH for clean and worse. and hit OK. So so now for snapshot number six, you know, there's a lot of different things that I could do. Maybe I want the clean, the chorus, and the delay on. So what I can do is go to snapshot number six. And again, instead of doing it on the LED screen, let's try it in stop mode. So again, I said I want the chorus, I want the delay, but I definitely don't want the minotaur. And of course, I want to make sure that the amp, specific amp I want on is engaged. So I will bypass the dirty. And then now I have the clean amp, the delay, and the chorus. I will go back to snapshot number six. And now I have clean plus chorus plus delay. And of course, I would want to rename that. So let's delete this. And then let's hit OK. Uh, so we'll do clean uh, CLN, maybe CL, oops, N, DL, <laughs> DLY, and then CHO. Running out of room here for all the letters, but that's OK. So DLY, CHO, you can call this whatever you wish, but that can possibly make sense. And I'll hit OK. Clean delay course. Maybe for snapshot number seven, you can think of these as, you know, like a similar sound, but maybe with a different effect on. So um, you maybe you want the rhythm sound, but with some chorusing on it. So I will go to snapshot number seven. And again, I will do this on the LED screen rather than doing it in stop mode. So I definitely don't want the distortion on. I don't want the clean channel on, but I do want the chorus and I do want the cab on, no delay and no EQ. So right here, this is the rhythm sound with some chorus. As opposed to just the regular, regular rhythm sound. Yeah. So again, that's a decent variation that I would want. And let's rename that snapshot. And let's do, uh, we'll just call this a rhythm chorus or something. R-H-Y-C-O-H-C-H-O, something like that. And hitting OK. And again, R-H-Y-C-H-O. I'll hit the preset button again to go back. <laughs> So right here with just seven snapshots, I mean, you'll notice that we have just a wide variety of sounds.
So a lot of useful sounds, uh, you know, for the sake of time. I don't think I need to dial in snapshot eight, but of course you can dial in eight snapshots if you have a, you know, maybe there is another effect in your particular preset, maybe a tremolo or another modulation effect or a different type of overdrive. You can, of course, do different snapshots for that. So I find snapshots really useful as opposed to thinking about um, going, you know, doing the tap dance kind of situation. So for example, if I select each snapshot, so for example, I'm starting with a clean snapshot. Look at if you look at these effects that we would have, we would be needing to chain, you know, tap all these effects. So going from like the rhythm sound to the lead sound, we would need to tap three different effects to turn on as opposed to just pressing one button. Or if we went from the clean sound to the rhythm with the chorus sound, we would have to change channels, turn on the delay, turn on the chorus. It can be a nightmare, especially in the middle of the gig. Whereas opposed to you can just press whatever sound you need and you have access to all of them using the snapshots. So Again, this is a basic run through of some basic snapshots using a gig ready preset. There's obviously a million different ways you can do this, but I find this really useful for a lot of users, especially if you're just needing, you know, a quick tap on a bunch of different sounds that you need and you don't need to go any further than that. Um, snapshots are definitely a good solution for that. So if you guys need any help programming your Helix or any other modeler out there, I would be happy to help you out. Feel free to contact me directly and we can set up a one-on-one -on -one session. Uh, that's a good place to wrap it up here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. I'm falling with you. I'm standing with you, Cody.